I'm feeling good, you know. Is anyone else in like a buzzing mood? I'm feeling awesome, you know. Bit of sun out today, and best thing at the moment, isn't it? We can all just stop pretending we were following those fucking rules. <laughs> Delightful, isn't it? Like, ah, oh, what I found out last year was I'm too thick to follow government advice. I don't know what. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. It was hard last year, though, wasn't it? Because it was changing all the time. Like, every day you'd turn on the telly at 5pm to watch Boris pick out new restrictions from his Tom Bowler. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> 33, that is Jim's in Leicester. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking madness, wasn't it? Like... The last year has definitely proved when the shit hits the fan, the people in charge do not have a fucking scooby. <laughs> what to do, do they? Everyone was just panicking, making up new rules to look like they were doing something because they couldn't come out at a press conference and tell the truth, could they? They couldn't come out on telly and just go, <laughs> good luck. Uh, <laughs> I love it though. In the north, let's be real, our pandemic ended about eight fucking months ago, didn't it? <laughs> we all just stopped giving a shit. It was beautiful. We had a very clear choice between protecting our grandparents or the pubs, and I'm pleased to report the pubs are flourishing. <laughs> <laughs> just didn't give a fuck, did we? But like, it was hard to give a fuck when the rules made so little sense, didn't they? Like, do you remember for a while we tried to fight a disease with a curfew? The fuck were we thinking? Like, we were like three weeks away from putting COVID on the fucking naughty step. Like, you've never seen that on like an episode of House, have you? Just that I don't know, it's very serious, but get him to bed before 10 p.m. <laughs> you should be right as rain. <laughs> fucking insanity. Joe Wicks can suck my dick as well. Uh, <laughs> fuck that guy. Fuck him so much. He's too enthusiastic and I got caught up in it. Cause he's so like fit and cheerful and all like, well, you can do it, mate. I was like, yeah, maybe I can. Maybe I'll get in shape. Like, spent the first week of the first lockdown like, yeah, let's do fucking star jumps, Joe. <laughs> fucking knobhead. Like, by the end of lockdown three, I spent an entire day working out if I could fit a full-size Toblerone up my ass. <laughs> Turns out, melt the corners, you're golden. Uh, <laughs> I'll be honest, it's worth doing for the noise on the way out. Look. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> <laughs> 